The Silence of the Lambs Clarice Starling, an FBI trainee, is assigned by her boss, Jack Crawford, to interview the incarcerated Hannibal Lecter, a highly intelligent former psychiatrist and cannibalistic serial killer. Crawford secretly hopes to get insights into a psychopathic serial killer known as Buffalo Bill who kills overweight women and skins them. Starling meets Lecter in his cell at the Baltimore State Hospital for the criminally insane. Although initially courteous, Lecter rebuffs her, deducing Crawford's true motive. As she is leaving, another prisoner mix fings his semen at her, angering Lecter, who changes his mind and provides Starling a clue. The clue leads to a jar holding a man's severed head. The man is linked to Buffalo Bill and Lecter offers to profile the killer on the condition that he is transferred away from Dr. Frederick Chilton, whom he detests. Meanwhile, Lecter influences Miggs into swallowing his own tongue and committing suicide, presumably to avenge his revolting action toward Starling and the other victim is found with a dead head moth lodged in a throat. In Tennessee, Buffalo Bill abducts Catherine Martin, the daughter of a U.S. Senator. Crawford authorizes Starling to offer Lecter a fake deal, promising a prison transfer if he helps them capture Buffalo Bill in time to rescue Catherine. Instead, Lecter demands a quid pro quo offering clues in exchange for a personal information about Starling. She agrees. Chilton exposes Starling's deceit and offers Lecter a new deal. Lecter agrees and is flown up to Memphis, where he gives Senator Martin accurate information on Buffalo Bill's appearance, but falsely identifies him as Louis' friend. Starling figures out the name in an anagram, of iron sulfide, a car fool's gold. She visits Lecter, now imprisoned in Tennessee. She describes a traumatic childhood incident wherein she heard lambs screaming at slaughter in the barn but could not save them. Lecter speculates that she hopes saving Catherine will end the recurring nightmares she has from this event. Satisfied, he returns the case files to her that evening. Lecter brutally kills his two cards and escape from the cell. With her notes from Lecter, Starling figures out that Buffalo Bill knew his first victim, Frederica Bimmel. She travels to Bimmel's Ohio hometown and discovers that she and Buffalo Bill were both tailors. In Bimmel's room, she finds evidence that reveals Buffalo Bill is making a suit with human skin. The culprit is a man and named James Gumb, who believes he is a transsexual but was deemed too violent to apply for a sex change operation. Crawford and an FBI hostage rescue team storm Gumb's address in Illinois but find the house empty. Meanwhile, Startling follows a lead that takes her to the house of Bimal's former client. There she meets the real James Gum. Realizing he is Buffalo Bill, after spotting the death's head moth, she pursues him and finds Catherine trapped in a dry well in the cavernous basement. Gum stalks startling with the night vision goggles, but reveals himself by cocking his revolver. She reacts quickly and shoots him dead. At the FBI Academy graduation party, Starling receives a phone call from Lecter, who is in the Bahamas at a Bimini airport. He assures her that he has no intention of pursuing her and requests that she return the favor, which she says she cannot. He hangs up, stating that he is having an old friend for dinner as he trails a newly arrived Chilton into the crowd. The end.